All right, Jason Johnson, what's happening? How are you? <sighs> Go ahead, get it out. Yeah. Get it yeah, out. No, get it out. Get it out. I, it's been a bad How'd you hear it was weeks. coming? It, you know, How'd you know? How'd you know I, he was coming? Maybe Wait, maybe we want to ask you about Georgia. Maybe you we want what? to ask I, you yeah, about yeah. what happened. We're just, we're just you know, going to get to the Hawks know? first because I know that's where you guys are going to take this. I will say no. this. No, no, in no. The we weren't going to talk about your takes. Seahawks being in a three-way tie and, and about to get roasted by Kyler Murray tomorrow night. Yeah, that <laughs> Your all-time worst defense. We're going to talk about that. Why, why would we do that? We love you, man. That why would be getting that swept. Up? Getting swept by the Cardinals, too. If they lose that, that's a sweep. <laughs> From what, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to say is this. I have never had faith in the secondary version, right? You know, you got Iron Man and you got War Machine. You had Captain America, you had U.S. Agent. Russell Wilson is the original recipe, okay? Kyler Murray is Church's Chicken. I do not believe in Kyler Murray long term. Oh, uh -uh. I oh, uh -uh. No, believe, no, stop it. I do not it. believe in Cliff Kingsbury. Right, and I have right no issue stop saying that, that I think that my Seahawks can win tomorrow night. Two things. I will <laughs> not, sir, I will not stand for Kyler Murray slander right now, nor will or I stand churches. for Church's chicken slander, okay? okay. Because Church's in the right set terrible. of circumstances, terrible. but in the right set of circumstances, in the right order, it could come through. It could come through for you, okay? What is your all city and whatnot? What, what's, what's your I've problem? Never heard church's chicken, chicken, chicken is terrible. Wait, never where was it terrible? What never city? Once. What you city can try and slip it? some church's chicken into a pile of Popeyes and some Safeway fried chicken from two days old. I'll still spit out the churches. That's how bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad. Church's Man, you. Chicken is. So, hey, but at least give it up for the biscuits, though. At least give it up for the I, biscuits. I can do, I can do the biscuits. I can I can have dirty rice from anywhere. I can have coleslaw from anywhere. But church's actual chicken is the worst. Shout out to the church's chicken that turned me off of church forever. It is in a certain city where I got my doctoral degree. I tried going to that place several times. It was always terrible. I can look that up. I'm just saying, churches is never going to be the real thing. It ain't ever going to be good, well-made Popeyes. Michael and Holly, Kyler Murray Jason ain't Johnson ever going to be uppity. Russell Wilson. Jason no Johnson matter what happens is uppity. You uppity, oh. Jason Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so you, had, you know, just because... Kyler Murray is the this, truth. Even yeah, just it. because there was a bad franchisee somewhere in, in, in what city was it? Where'd you get your doctorate? I, in, 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 I will say it's, it was in the city of Durham, and I was getting my degree okay. in the neighboring city. I would just say okay. it, was, it was a bad place All there. Right. Yes, yes. Well, just because you got a bad franchisee doesn't mean churches is bad. Let me ask you, though, what's your issue yeah. with Kyler Murray coming off right. one of the greatest games that we've seen, <laughs> a, a wonderful oh, throw? On the first season. Hail Mary of his career. He's never thrown what it. Season season. He's one for one. Yeah. Th look, that, that is an Aaron Rodgers level throw. And it was amazing. And DeAndre Hopkins is amazing. Look, I actually don't think Kyler Murray is, is a bad quarterback. I don't think he's not going to be a good quarterback. But he ain't Russell Wilson. That's the thing that gets me. He is not even Russell Wilson in his second year. He is not even Russell Wilson in his second year statistically. Let's, let's ignore Ooh. the fact that Russell had the Legion of Boom and everything else like that. Plus, Kyler Murray, I don't even know if he's that durable yet. Remember, he got a little hurt at the end of last year. I just think there's a tendency that just because you have another short brown quarterback with curly oh, hair, stop it. everybody wants to say that he's the same as Russell Wilson. They're going to say the same thing about Tua. Stop Let it. me see stop a little it. bit more of Kyler Murray. I'm just That's saying. not what this is. That's not I'm what just... this is. The dude's on pace to have the first 4,000, 1,000 season in history. And okay, now I got to put on my hater hat. Now I got to put on I... my hater hat. I didn't want to <laughs> do this, but you're going to make me do this. Okay? I'm you're talking about he ain't I... Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson ain't good right now. He got 13 oh, turnovers. He's... In a, he's, in a, he's 10 turnovers terrible. in the last four games. He got more turnovers through 10 games he's ever had. What's going on? Or oh, nine games he's ever had. had. He's had a him? terrible four-game stretch. And you know what? I will allow a Hall of Fame quarterback in his eighth or ninth year to have a really <laughs> okay. bad stretch. But if you okay. expect me to believe that he's going to play that way for the rest of the year, I don't buy it. I haven't seen right. Kyler Murray play long. And here's the thing. I don't say I, – I give no credit. It's like raising money in a political campaign. Oh, you broke records raising money. It's easy to raise money in political campaigns today. I don't give nobody credit for, for yardage in our current NFL, where a bad quarterback has a 67% completion rating. So, you know, he, he can throw for 5,000 yards. He can throw for 8,000 yards. Oh it doesn't God. mean I believe wow. Kyler Murray yet. It doesn't mean I, mean, I believe the Cardinals yet. And I don't believe you know. in Cliff Kingsbury. 
ever. But, you, but, but Michael, you know what the problem with that is? You know what the problem with that take is? You know what the problem with that hot take is, Michael? Here's the problem it's, with that. It's not hot. Tomorrow, it's not hot about this take. tomorrow when <laughs> Kyler Murray throws for 400 and rushes for 150 against that defense, you know what he's going to say? Oh, it's the worst defense of all time. Anybody no, can do no. that. The Seahawks no. defense is Ken Norton. What, yeah, that's what you're going to say, Russell right? Russell Wilson's give no credit failures. Tomorrow. Russell Wilson's failures are different from the failures of the defense. If he had not been turning over the ball, it, it, look, if he no, had I'm been saying turning when over Kyler the ball Murray like Tony off. Romo, Huh? I'm saying when Kyler Murray goes off on your squad tomorrow, it, you're not going to give him credit because your defense is so bad. It doesn't it 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 guarantee. Look, look, the, the Seahawks defense <laughs> makes everybody look like vintage <laughs> Elway right now. Everybody looks See? like Elway. I could go See? out on the field right now and throw for 1,000 yards and, and, and sneak, uh, sneak a touchdown in on this defense. Jamal Adams making business decisions. You know, <laughs> Jack Griffin not getting anything done. I don't trust that defense at all. I don't trust Pete at this point. But if you if, if Russell Wilson had just half as many turnovers at this point as he's had over the last four years, I mean, goodness gracious, they're six and three, and it's the worst stretch of his career. I can't not believe in a team or a quarterback that's still six and three at week nine. Come on, y'all. You know, and I'm not gonna believe you know, in some, in some new jack kid who just comes out there because he got a funny outfit and a, and a red suit, and people suddenly call him Superman. <laughs> I'll buy it. Hey, hey, you know, I'll I, buy it. You I'll know, what, in Michael Carter. Smith. Michael Smith. You know what's so great about this? Uh, the fact that he was here, ready. The fact that he no, was ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. You weren't here. Uh, you weren't here a couple weeks ago. And I was doing yeah. a show with, with Vinny, and yeah. I, after Jason Johnson finished his segment, the you know, producers were saying, you know, Jason Johnson, he's amazing. Like, he knows everything. He's amazing. And so, they, like, people were raving. They're raving about you, and there's so many different sides of you, but we haven't seen the hater side until now. This and I'm just enjoying hate, 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 that, hate, hate. that you got I'm some hate, hate in you, too. <laughs> I'm a hate on Murray, Miracle Whip. Church, I'm a hate on Church of Chicken. I'm a hate on Jeez. Tyler Murray. And it's high level. It's high level hating. I mean, it's like almost. I know not let to me, cross him. You mentioned you mentioned politics. You mentioned political yeah. fundraising. Let's let's turn the corner here. And mm -hmm. there was a segment that we played on the way out. You talked about Georgia, and yeah. how it's the election is not over. But because if, if you voted for Joe Biden, do you think honestly? Don't tell us what we want to hear. Tell us what we oh, need to did. hear. Do you think <laughs> that Ossoff and Warnock really have a shot? to, to so, unseat two Republicans in Georgia? I'm a, I'm a Three years ago, when Ossoff ran for the Georgia 6th position, I wrote a piece at the time, and the title was, This White Boy Gonna Lose. And it was a quote from a local consultant, his exact words, This White Boy Gonna Lose. That was, it was, it was you know, an anonymous quote. I couldn't say who the person was. And I talked to that same consultant two days ago, and he said, they're both gonna lose. He said the, the, the party, the Democratic Party, is not organized enough on the ground in Georgia to get black people excited enough again to push Ossoff and Warnock over the edge. Now, this is a guy who tends to know things. I disagreed with him in this one instance. I think the level of political engagement that we have right now, I think the high that people have in flipping Georgia blue might be enough to push these guys over. But here's the thing. I actually think that Ossoff might be the weaker of the two links, and you got to win both, right? Like, mm -hmm. this is not going to be a split decision. Either both the Democrats right. win or both the Republicans win, and Ossoff is going to need to step his game up. Warnock is going to get the black turnout. Warnock is going to get the vote. Warnock has been doing good commercials, and he's a pastor, and he does well in the southern part of Georgia. Ossoff's got to step up his game. And not to say he's a bad candidate, but his organization needs to do better on the ground. That's so hard to believe, Jason, because, you know, while this Senate race in Georgia, or these Senate races in Georgia are of national importance and national right. interest, you would think that if they could be activated anywhere, it would be in Georgia, given that they're voting for their own senators, not to mention the amount of buzz and the amount of excitement about, you just mentioned it, Georgia flipping blue under the leadership uh, in the direction of Stacey Abrams and other organizers who have enfranchised so many voters down there, that is just really troubling. I, it'd be one thing if it was like, if, it, if the nation had to conjure up the energy and the motivation right. to deliver Georgia. This is a Georgia Senate race. Like, how is it difficult for Georgia to get excited about voting for Ossoff and Warnock? Here's the reason. 
And I noticed this when I came on the show today. I'm, I'm looking at your background, Michael. You look at your background, Alec. You all have these beautiful, like, Thanksgiving, you know, August sepia-colored backgrounds, right? Like, like some, mm -hmm. some, you know, beautiful backgrounds that are the seasonal background. That is what people are thinking of down there right now. They, they put mm -hmm. all their energy, they shot their shot on the election, they flip the state blue, and now people are relaxing. And getting people organized to vote on January 5th, when it's also going to be cold, is extremely challenging. And again, mm -hmm. the history of runoffs is there's usually a, anywhere from a 40 to 60% drop off across wow. the board. You got COVID Ooh. going on, you got the holiday season going on. Now look, 600,000 people have already ordered absentee ballots in the first week. That is a good sign. The New Georgia Project is out there. Stacey Abrams is out there. Uh, Asian American organizations, Latino organizations are out there. It can be done. This is how it can be done. But it's going to require a level of effort that's actually even bigger than the election. Because there are people down there, and I've seen interviews, and I talked to a lot of my friends and colleagues down there. There are people down there that don't know there's a runoff. They didn't know they had to vote again. Raphael Warnock talked about that in the speech. So that's what it's going to require. And this is not going to be a money election. It's not going to be an advertising election. It's going to be a turnout election. And if people care about making sure that Joe Biden can do his job, then they will vote for Ossoff and Warnock. If they want to let Mitch McConnell, if they want to let the devil went down to Georgia, if they want to let Lindsey Graham, you know, try, <laughs> to, try to affect their elections the way he just did, yeah. the way he just got ratted out by the Secretary of State, then they won't vote. I hope that's inspiring My enough for people, but I, I, I don't know if it's going to be true. Michael, I was just going to say, maybe we should go down to Georgia, and if it's to, I thought we could just give money and draw, bro, draw attention to it nationally. We might have to go down to Georgia and bring people to the polls our damn selves, Michael, because all might of have our to lives knock are on, on the line doors. With this. You might have to put together a party with some food, no churches. You might have to put together a party. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> they do Chick-fil-A down hey. there. They do Chick-fil-A and Popeyes, J.R. Crickets. <laughs> hey, hey, just one, one more quick question for you. Uh, by the way, I saw John Meacham giving you some love the other day. John Meacham, Mike, I don't know if you saw this. John, Jason, Jason's on with John Meacham, and Brian yeah. Williams is like doing his thing. Jason says something. John Meacham says, you know, I agree with everything Jason just said. I'm like, oh, yeah. man. That's, he pretty, got, that's a hell of an endorsement. He got, he got Meacham yeah. on the payroll now. Yeah. No, Look, I, let me I, ask you. I am exceptionally humbled. I, I'm exceptionally humbled uh, when I'm on with Bryant, when I'm on with Meacham, uh, when I'm on with my old professor, Larry Sabato. Those are all examples of, of great teams that have come together with passion, uh, with, with an agreement as to what the mission is, which is the opposite of what will happen if James Harbin ends up joining Kyrie and KD. Just had to throw it out. <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, Sneak that real quick. In there when, right uh, there. Jason, when, when's your... Yeah. Uh, when, when's your president going to leave uh, 1600 Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Avenue? We, he got, we got, we moving his stuff out. We got, we threw his stuff out the, uh, out the window. We got to go. I am looking forward to the day where there is a, a, a yellow note tagged on the front of the White House, like eviction day with a court date. <laughs> they're going to have to, there's one of two things really I think is going to happen. Either they're going to have to literally pull him out the day of, or he's going to go on vacation for Christmas and Mar-a-Lago and never come back. And I think there's a very good Damn. chance that he goes on his vacation. Is like, you know what? Why should I go back anyway? I already took my stuff out of the office. I think there's a, a, a very real chance that Trump just doesn't show up as he tries to figure out what his next step is, but is going to be, which, quite frankly, is going to be fighting off a bunch of lawsuits. Jason, damn that. They need to send the Navy SEALs up in there and get this domestic terrorist <laughs> out of there. I'm, I'm so serious. Like, like, because every day that goes by, he does more and more damage. And we can't afford to wait another, you know, two months or whatever it is no. for him to for, for him to for him to leave. They literally might have to physically remove him, whatever legal constitutional remedy there is to stop this domestic terrorist from causing more death and destruction and posing yep. a national security risk should be on the table. Hey, man, thank you so much. We appreciate you, except for your church and chicken slander. By the way, <laughs> when's the next time you're hosting? I caught you hosting the other day. Yeah. Oh, that hey, guys, thank how you was so it? much. Was uh, that it, your it first time? It was, was fantastic. It? it was my first time in the chair. Uh, shout out to Joshua Johnson for, for making the opportunity available. I'm glad people weren't confusing the two of us. Uh, and I'm actually going to be... <laughs> 
guest hosting for Joy Reid this weekend. So I'll be there this Saturday and this Sunday, oh. 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time for AM Joy. Waking up to you, brother. I'm waking up to you. That's uh, great. We love you, except for your church's chicken slander. <laughs> and, and by the way, we're available. Not- uh, we're available this weekend. We're not. We ain't asking for nothing, but we're available. You know, if you, you need I'm, some. I'm gonna put the uh, call out. I'm gonna put the call out. Hey, it, it will don't lie. the Seahawks to win. If the Seahawks lose, I don't remember either of you. But if they win, I'm gonna and have don't y'all. Don't lie. Don't lie. This is your favorite show to come on. Keep it 100. <laughs> I know we ain't paying your bills, but this is your favorite show to come on. <laughs> you ain't got to answer. That's okay. I, I can't, we I know. Can't, I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing. I'm just saying. I'm going to find, find, find space for y'all Saturday. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll be Once watching. Russell Wilson gets we'll it done, it shows Tyler Murray who he is. We'll check you out, man. We appreciate you. Take it Thanks, Unbelievable. Guys. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.